Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Guy here. Today I'm going to react to the new Unify Protect 6.0 version that just came out. This is a video from Unify's YouTube channel. It was released yesterday, June 16th, 2025. It's a new version of Unify Protect um, with some new features. I'm going to watch the video. It's a minute 51 seconds. I'm going to uh, point out and do some of the, I mean, make some comments on the new features. You know I like Unify. You know that I've been using Unify in my home network. Some of the early videos on these channels were me showing you how I installed my Unify Protect uh, surveillance system. I have about 16 cameras. Even Actually, let me show you. This is my Unify um, system right now. And um, as you can see, I have 16 cameras, even though right now three of them are down. Right here, it shows three down, 13 are up. And this system has been running for over five years. I have a UNVR with four disks. This one has some alerts on it. I'm supposed to replace it. I'm, I'm going to do it really soon. But I love the system. I love that it's helping. I love the way I access it through my phone and my app on the, on the iPad or the web version of it. I have 26 days of storage capacity. And I'm running right now the version number 5.3.45. As you can see here, there's an update available. I'm supposed to go to the 5.3.48 and eventually to the 6.0, but I'm still under 5.3.45. It's running really well. All the cameras are fine. And mostly here in Denver, we have a lot of elements. We have a lot of snow, a lot of uh, heat sometimes. But these cameras, mostly the outdoor ones, have been there forever. Like I said, five years. I've never had to change any of them. So I love this system. Oh, by the way, this is me uh, sitting right here and recording this for you. And uh, yeah, so I love the system. And when I saw the new uh, 6.0, I felt the need to react to it. Um, the one I'm using now, I would say that I don't use all the potential I have in it. I know they enabled some API functionalities and things like that. I haven't been able to do much with it, even though I feel like now I should get more into it. I should uh, explore more. For example, I want to use the motion detection on the camera to be able to turn on or off some light in certain areas around the house. That's something I would be glad to do. And if I do, I'll be able to share on this channel. I can look at the people, I can look at vehicles, I can literally find anything. It says here, find anything. So all the events are recorded there. So it's, it's fine, it's a beautiful system that I would recommend. This is for my home use, but also it's very good for businesses as well, for the value that you get just with, uh, with with the hardware without any licensing i think it's pretty good without further ado let's jump into the video itself and i'm going to comment we're proud to introduce protect 6.0 starting with the all-new spotlights track what matters most a familiar face a pet or anything custom with unify edge ai whenever you open the app or web your spotlights instantly show what's new no searching, just quick awareness. In both, that's that's a really good feature. Where because the, the thing is that if you have a business, for example, and you have all these different cameras, you have a lot of data to go through. But some of the problem is just browsing your own footage that you have. If you want to find something specific, if you want to find a situation with AI that you, they're using now, I think they call it Unify Edge um, AI, something like that it's going to be much easier. And apparently now with AI, you can just tell it what you want to see, like a dog or a person with a backpack, or whatever. And it's going to go through your footage and pull you that specific image. That is impressive. That is very good. I'm so happy with this version of Unify Protect. And I'm pretty sure a lot of businesses will be as well. Let's, let's keep going. Both live and recorded video, objects now show dwell time. So you can quickly see how long someone or some things Wow, that's really good. So with idle time, the system will show you how long a device or a car or a person has been in the frame or has been standing there. I think that's, that's really smart. That's a beautiful feature. Stay. Pause on any frame, select a person, and instantly find every moment they appear across all your cameras. Powered by Unify Edge AI. Protect 6.0 introduces... Yeah, Unify Edge AI. So that's that's huge. 
Because I can imagine if you have, you know, a pool of people that are visiting employees or people like you can literally just click on the person and find where they've been throughout the the building. I think this is this is huge. I actually, I don't know. I don't even know if, I mean, of course they're making money because they're still in business. But how do they make money? Because my cameras, when I bought them, for example, one camera was an average of about $100. Some of them were a little higher than that, $250 or whatever. But that was five years ago. And since then, I haven't paid anything, but I'm still receiving all these updates. I'm still using the system very efficiently. So yeah, this is definitely a good company. And I think for small businesses or even you know residential video surveillance, this is definitely a system to go with. This is a completely redesigned find anything experience. It brings together all filters in one place, adds powerful semantic search, and includes thoughtful touches that make it easier to find exactly what you're looking for. The new timeline gives That's really good. That's really good. Where you can literally just type what you want to see. And uh, you can also kind of refine the, the result as they appear. That is impressive. You quick camera specific object summaries, along with instant playback from any moment. And check out the other upgrades, including object counting charts, spatial filters and multi-camera scrubbing yeah this is another huge one i do a lot of scrubbing um, in my footage and up to now i can only do it one camera at a time of course i can still go through the timeline as long as i stop at a certain point in time i can then switch camera to go to a different camera at that same time but now i can have multiple cameras that i'm scrubbing through that is really good and also my only hope is just that it won't have any kind of limitations based on the kind of drive that you use or the system that you you keep your footage on. But um, I assume that if you have a good UNVR with some good hard drives on it, you should be able to scrub uh, multiple images like this without any latency or any, any problem. But yeah, I definitely love this and I can't wait to try it in my own system. Actually, after this, um, after this video, I'm going to do all the upgrade necessary. Hopefully, I'll get to 6.0 and I'll be able to experience all of this, and I'm going to make videos for you on this channel. So if you don't follow me, make sure you follow me on social media and uh, on um, I mean Facebook and Instagram at Gibisuku and KB Trainings. I'll be able to share with you what I think, but I'm very excited already to try this in my, uh, in my own system. The updated alarm manager in 6.0 adds AI trigger previews, easy action testing, and expanded webhook authentication for broader device compatibility. Oh yeah, extended uh, webhook uh, functionalities. This is what I wanted. This is the kind of thing that will help you uh, build all kind of automation between your cameras, your light, and everything around your, your business or your house. And I can't wait to get into it with you. Finally, system logs now offer detailed auditing, including session history, configuration changes, and full tracking of which recordings were viewed, downloaded, or deleted. Stay tuned. That's really good for forensics. If there is anything, if, if anybody deleted any kind of footage, you can see who did it and when. And yeah, that will uh, definitely help in a lot of investigations and things like that. This is the kind of details that you want in an enterprise solution. Um, I don't know, some people still consider Unify as not so enterprise, but yeah, they're bringing some cool features that a lot will pay a premium price for. Um, and um, yeah, this is something that I definitely uh, want to try. more exciting Unify physical security updates. Yeah, that's it for the video. I can't wait to upgrade my system. Actually, I'm going to do it right now, right after this, uh, uh, this video. And uh, I will be getting into all those features and will be bringing you videos. I know some people ask me why I don't do as many videos about Unify anymore. I still have the UDM SE. I still have the USW, the Switch. So I'm going to get into them again. I know it's been a long time since I did some Unify videos. And also Unify has come a long way right now. I know that there is a lot to discover there. So I'll be making more videos for you. Thank you for watching. And if you like what I do, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you are studying, a lot of IT trainings are coming on en.kbtrainings.com. I did the CCNA, and now I'm getting into FortiGate uh, or FortiNet in general. I'll do, I'll cover a lot of that and many more trainings that are coming. Make sure you go check it out on en.kbtrainings.com. 
Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.